Hi and welcome students. In this video I'll be talking about Microsoft Publisher 2016 and how to replace text boxes including placeholder text as well as default text. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have a Microsoft Publisher flyer here and you can see that as I scroll through the flyer it has all kinds of different objects on it. I could tell as I hover over the objects the type of boundary that is displayed on it tells me a little bit about what's going on inside of these uh, objects. And so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here here, and you can see that some things have generic text and some things have a little bit more specific text like a business name and then you could also see some objects include images and image files that are expected to be placed in there well let's see what happens when I click inside this generic text right here so when I click it it automatically highlights everything and if I start to type let's say I type in the name of this video replace publisher placeholder text Holder text. Notice that it types it in there just like that. So I have it typed in. Notice I didn't have to do anything special. As uh, I typed it in, it immediately typed. Now remember, whenever you click on an object and it immediately highlights everything, that lets you know that it's placeholder text. And in Windows 10, Office 2016, typically when things are highlighted, you can replace it uh, just by typing. So I'll just type YouTube video for publisher text. Alright, great. So that's called placeholder text. Now let's take a look at another type of text box that gives us a little bit different of uh, a reaction when we click on it. And that's this area right here called business name. Now notice as I hover over business name, this little eye pops up right here. Okay. And what this eye is telling you is that this is not your normal text box. If I click here and notice when I clicked it, instead of uh, selecting all it just kind of put me right in the middle of the text that right where I clicked so if I typed say an F here well obviously it's just going to type the F so I have to select all of this text so why is this text different from the generic text that we see maybe down here where the telephone number is well this text right here actually comes from the business information set that we uh, initially skipped over to get to this step so when you're in publisher it's pretty much designed for small businesses and it has small businesses in mind so when you fill out a business information set whether it's a small business or a club or an organization or whatever uh, you're a part of, you could actually have this information automatically placed on your publications by the time you create the template. So something like business name will automatically popu populate with your business name. And this playlist that I'm showing you is eventually going to show you how to do that. Up here towards the top where it says organization, it's automatically going to pop up with your organization's logo. Up here where it says business tagline or motto. And again, notice the little eyes. Those little eyes are telling you that it's basically going to be from that business information set. All of this stuff comes automatically in Publisher, which is really nice. So when I click on business information set, it's not really expecting me to change anything. Again, because it assumes that you already have your business information set input and it's already displaying the output. So here, if I just start typing again, it's just going to start typing right in the middle of it. Now, what happens if I press backspace to get out of this? Okay, well, it'll delete that text. And so whenever I don't have a business information set set up, like in this video, I'm going to need to do a control A in the default text. And then let's say I type in Professor Adam Morgan, but I start to spell my name wrong. Okay, I forgot the O. Now, if I press backspace, watch what happens. Okay, it highlights everything. Okay, now this is in... Uh, again your default text only so if I wanted to highlight everything and I press backspace now if I press backspace again it's going to delete everything that's there so I have to be careful whenever I'm typing in a, a default text box that I need to actually click where I need to go and to fix it I type it in that way because again if you press backspace uh, too many times it's going to not allow you to make the change that you want so again default text does work a little bit differently than your standard placeholder text. 
So hopefully this has uh, taught you a little bit about the two different types of text boxes that you're going to see in Publisher and what they do. Eventually this playlist will get into that business information set so that you could automatically put in your business's information to where it pops up on any template that you choose. It's very, very helpful. So if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to check out the rest of this Publisher playlist, I'll make sure it's linked up here right now. Thank you again for watching. And if you have any comments, let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day.